Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, it is the final weekend of the 2020 general hunting season and we are out uh, on a conservation site in the Buffalo Lake area. Rob Lane and his son Patrick live in Calgary but make the two-hour drive to the Buffalo Lake area just about every weekend during hunting season, mainly due to the availability of access to a number of conservation properties. Over here, take a look at this. We've got a nice bed here. Not sure how long it's been there for, but tracks come right up out of the trees, right up through there. Cool. These conservation sites are really important to me because I live in Calgary. Um, sure, I come out to this area and there's a ton of conservation sites available. And I know that it's an opportunity for me to get on the land without permission. I don't have a lot of local contacts in the area. I'm not comfortable driving into somebody's farmyard and saying, hey, I noticed some animals on your property. Uh, could I hunt it? I don't know that person. I don't feel comfortable just driving onto their property and I don't really want to bother them. Um, I'm a professional who doesn't get to spend a lot of time out of the office. So when I do, it's kind of right then and there. That's, uh, I don't get a lot of time to plan things. So I can, on a moment's notice, if the weekend is free for me, I can go out to a conservation site and I don't need to ask permission. I can get there. They're not heavily used. And uh, it's just a great opportunity for me to get out. This one's kind of open, but uh, you never know if you're going to see something so last weekend when I was driving by here I saw a moose Currently it's uh, rather difficult to track just how many Albertans are using conservation sites like these to hunt on. Yeah we really don't have any good stats on the use of the conservation sites but I do know we've received a lot more calls about conservation sites this uh, throughout the summer so it certainly look like a lot more people are interested in them. whether or not they actually went out and used them I don't know uh, hopefully they did. One of the best ways to locate a conservation site is to download the Discovery Guide app. Yeah in the Buffalo Lake region there's probably I think it's over 25 sites uh, just within a few kilometers of the lake and there's just everything available. Yes, there's big game, uh, there's upland birds, there's ducks, there's geese in the area. Uh, and then for those of you who aren't hunters, there's berry picking, there's, uh, there's shed hunting if, you're, if you like finding sheds. Um, just a, it's just an incredible opportunity and in, in a, a, such a wide variety of, of things on these sites. Uh, it's great. It's a great opportunity um, to be able to spend time with him um, uh, when he works and I go to school. Uh, we don't get to do a lot during the week, so it's great to come out on the weekend and spend all morning together. I think Rob made a really good point that if you are busy and you don't have time to go out and do some scouting at private land, hitting these conservation sites is a great way to get access to some wonderful opportunities for hunting or any other outdoor activity for that matter. I really want to thank uh, Patrick and Rob for allowing me to spend the day with them and interrupting their final weekend of hunting. But uh, hey folks, if you do want more information about conservation sites, check out the AC website. All the details are there. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Let's go outdoors.